Hello everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 with another LEGO lap time. No, we are not using the tractor from Top Gear. I'm sorry, I would love to use the tractor. I would love to use the tractor immensely. But I can't, it doesn't meet the PI. It just barely gets an S1 class and that's not going to be good enough. I love the vehicle, it's a brilliant vehicle. I might mess around with it later. I have a plan for it. However, I can't use it right now. So I'm going to use another massive bonkers vehicle from this, I guess, update. The G-Wagon 6x6 AMG! Yeah, baby! The beast is here. The monster. Now, I did double check to make sure I could get into the, to the class restriction, and it can, if you put the 7 liter V8 in it. It also has, um, Merc the, um, what, god, the Mercedes AMG GTR engine, it does have that in as well, but I want the V8, because I, I need the power, I need a lot of power with this. Now, tires are a bit of a problem, they are only off-road tires, can't change them, but you do get massive 355s on the front, which should help front end turning, and then of course I'll have no problem from the traction department, we have 315s, four of them to be exact, on the rear, and then we add 355s on them. So traction is not going to be that much of a problem. Understeer, that might be true, but traction, no. And the aerodynamics. Now the aero doesn't really help very much, it adds a few PI, but, I mean, I have to do it. I mean, it's a massive thing. It's almost as big as, it fits the truck, really. Now, the, the back is even better, you ready? This actually makes it worse handling, but I'm going to do it anyway, because look at it! Ha ha ha! That is mental! That is utterly, utterly mental. It drops us 4 PI, but I don't care. I want two tires on the back with the gold roll cage. I need that in my life. You know, I need that in my life. And we want big brakes on it. Now, the suspension's interesting. We only have rally suspension. However, funnily, the rally suspension lowers it. <laughs> How big does the suspension have to be for a rally suspension to lower it? That is immense. And we want all this stuff, we want all this stuff. Roll cage, it does begin to lower PI because we are up to 10,000 pounds now. But I want it. And then of course, take all the weight out we possibly can. We take out two tons, or 2,000 pounds, one ton, apologies. Which means we're at a measly one seven thousand pounds. <laughs> you know, nothing much. We are gonna need all of this, you know, we're gonna need all of it. Now I do that and can I kinda sneak you on. There we go, perfect. There's our Mercedes built up one thousand two hundred and forty horsepower, nine hundred and forty foot pounds of torque, weighing in at seven thousand pounds it's heavier than the Hummer <laughs> but it does have six wheels and a lot of power so a lot of traction so this 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 has a chance of beating the Hummer we, we shall see okay the, that focus changed color um, the Merc the mighty massive behemoth Merc it's going to have to try and beat a 59.8, roughly, set by that, set by that Hummer H1 Alpha Wagon. That's the only one that's really going to be rivaling here, okay? I'm not expecting anything more than that. It's certainly not going to beat the Mini, not the GTR. No way in hell is it going to beat the Bone Shaker. However, however, look at it. It doesn't even fit in the square. The bumper doesn't... The vehicle is about three feet too long. <laughs> it is mighty. And the acceleration ain't that bad, you know? The acceleration ain't that bad. Where I think it's going to be undone is the braking. And the, you know, turning. That's what I fear. I think the acceleration speed, despite being a brick, isn't going to be terrible. Just because it has so much power. However, um, I do fear for the handling department. You know, the braking, and the stopping, and the turning, and etc. Oh yeah, that's some understeer. Also, yeah, the suspension is not ideal. Ow. Brakes aren't terrible at that speed. 
Oh yeah, you, you, it definitely has some weight behind it. It definitely has some weight behind it, but yeah, we get we get quite a bit of understeer. Quite quite a bit of understeer. Y yeah. <laughs> but the speed is immense. That's as fast as the that's as fast as the bone shaker in a straight line. The acceleration in this thing is blistering. I I can't go full throttle of every corner. However, I can't because I get understeer then, and I, I generally frown upon that. Yeah, the boat here is carrying about 80 miles an hour through there. That's carrying about 60. There's that's a substantial di difference. That's a substantial difference. And power, 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 and through the science doesn't really matter. I mean, it's such a big vehicle, you know. But it's got some serious go about. It. You know, it's got some serious go. You need to turn. It, it, even then, it's not turning. Um. Yeah, handling, handling, turn, please. 125 with a terrible corner, I will add. It is not bad. I should have a break for that one, trying to get a better apex like that. There we go, don't run wide, we're still running wide. Okay, alright, 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 that's not where I want to be. But it does want to get a good exit through there, that's almost 80 miles an hour through there with that late apex. 80 miles an hour in a G-Wagon through a corner sounds terrifying. Not just a normal G and a 656. How the hell did I miss that check? I didn't miss that checkpoint, okay, good. I was going to say, how the hell did I miss that checkpoint in the vehicle the size of a building? <laughs> understeer, 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 understeer. It's not my friend. I don't really like understeer cars. I, I say I don't like them. I, I prefer them to oversteer when I'm racing, like I can control understeer a bit better. But this is chronic. This is chronic. Chronic understeer, holy cow. Alright, we're gonna go like this, turn in, and lift off, hit the gas, now gas. I'm gonna actually turn in, that's not good, I didn't want to turn in there. That, that was a bad spot to get some turn in. Alright, so I, if, I, if I'm strategic, I can go around that corner very quickly, but I'm not pulling it off. This run's already screwed. Ah! Ah, that's, yeah, that's... This thing doesn't know the definition of a turn, really. I mean, it makes sense, it is about the size of a boat. And, and so it seems right for it to handle like one, but you know, still, I was hoping for a, a, perhaps a little bit better. That was a very good run through there, though. That's 110. I don't get it stopped for 110, but that was 110 in a, in a very short straight. That's impressive. Alright, let's try and get this corner right for the first time ever. Alright, turn in, turn in. We're carrying about 70 miles an hour through here. Maybe a little less than that. There you go. Now I've got a power. This is going to be very difficult to get a good lap time in because of that. Because of that chronic understeer. That chronic. Horrible. Ow. We're going to rewind on that. That terrible, chronic, miserable understeer sucks the life out of your car. Because it actually has a lot of straight line speed. A lot of straight line speed, actually. There we go, we made the corner properly this time, 128, and we still get it stopped. That's the most impressive thing by far. The brakes are very good on this vehicle, all things considered, because it weighs, you know, two and a bit, almost three, over three tons, actually, over three tons. And it's just braking like any other, that's a lot of understeer. It's braking like any other car, you know, it's braking at the standard braking zones. It's, it's, even despite its massive acceleration and its even more massive weight, it is very surprisingly good under brakes. I'm very proud of the Mercedes in that regard, and only that regard, really. Because <laughs> everything else is terrible, bar this acceleration. <laughs> Which I will admit is not the ideal combination of a car with mega acceleration and nothing else, but you know, we can make it work. I want to try and do a sub 1 minute 2. I think a 1 minute 2 would be ideal. It's gonna be last. Let's just get that back out of the way. It's gonna be last. There we go. Look at that. 129 miles an hour into the braking zone. Get it stopped. We have one more left to make it count. That's not ideal. There we go. Through there. Run it wide. That's too wide. How am I missing that checkpoint? That's a new one. All right, we're gonna do this, we're gonna run wide, clip that somehow, and then cut in, try and get a good exit. Yes, there we go. It is technically all four wheels off the track, but I can't really do too much about it, you know? 
Now, tight apex, try and get some more room from turning. Now, you have to get this right, you have to get this right, you have to get this right, turn in. And coast, and coast, and coast, and gas, and gas, and coast, and gas. There we go. A little bit of a dab on the brakes, because I get understeer. And one more run across the line. Come on, come on, come on. No, we're not going to do it. We're not going to be faster. Jeez. I thought that run was actually half decent, but no, that run was slower than the previous. That's not a very good time. I mean, I didn't know what more to expect because it's, you know, a Mercedes 6x6. But a 1 minute 3.6, that's bad. That's bad. I mean, even the... Even the Hummer that weighed five and a half tons. Five and a half, yeah, basically weighed five and a half tons. Um, that is pathetically slow, actually. And you know what it is? It's all that underseer. It's all that underseer. If it had, what, 10 more degrees of turning, it would be fantastic. The problem is you have to go so slow around the corners because it can't turn, that all that acceleration and braking time is lost. If it just had some good turning, it would easily be faster than the Mercedes. Heck, it might even give the Nissan a run for its money, or the BMW. But because it can't turn, because of its weight or its suspension or its tires or whatever, it is by far and away the slowest vehicle we've ever had. But, I love it. It's a mental vehicle. I highly recommend playing through all seven chapters of the Abysmal Horizon 4 story to get it. It is a truly wonderful machine and i love it and that is going to be it for this episode of forza horizon 4 we'll be back with more